Hello everyone, welcome back to Jeux de Rose. Upon popular request, we're talking about top 10 designer fragrances for fall. So you can wear these perfumes during the fall or autumn season, also into the winter. They're perfect for the colder months, but most importantly, I will be matching each perfume with an outfit. So you can think of it as a fragrance wardrobe lookbook to give you a better idea for the vibe, the type of fragrance that we can pair with. So fragrance is the finishing touch when it comes to getting dressed, getting ready. So like that, you have a good idea of what it's all about. Let's get straight into it. Coming in hard with a fragrance that you can only find in the men's section, but I would recommend you check it out because it is absolutely fantastic. It is Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. This is one of my favorite men's fragrances and I love it so much that I wear it myself and I find it to be completely unisex. So ladies, I would recommend you check it out. Don't be deterred by the fact that it's in the men's section. You need to try it on the skin. Trust me, this perfume is spectacular. It is a blend of spices, like an atomic bomb of spices, not in a spice rack kind of way because wait for it, the spices are warmed by a really beautiful tobacco vanilla base. Stunning, it is warm, it is spicy, it is sweet, really addictive. This perfume smells like being embraced by your lover. That warm, fuzzy, but also exhilarating feeling is what is captured in this fragrance. So the way that I style this perfume up is with a chunky, warm toned sweater. So I opted for this beige or camel turtleneck and then I paired it with a pair of black skorts and some ankle boots to kind of give that fall cozy vibe, but then at the same time, a bit of sexiness with a lot of leg and then a pop of color with my red bag because you know, there's a fiery aspect to the fragrance. But ultimately I would recommend wearing this as well during date night. It is so incredibly sexy. And the bonus point is that you can share it with your husband or your boyfriend because it's, as I said, unisex. So I think this is a great fragrance to reach out for. It is, for the most part, good projection. Longevity is all right too. So if you're looking for a cozy, sexy date night fragrance, I'd recommend you try Spice Bomb Extreme. This next fragrance is completely slept on. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about it. It is Infinite Sky from Estee Lauder. And this is a line of fragrances that is, I believe, a little bit more expensive than their core offering, so kind of like a private collection within Estee Lauder. Even though Estee Lauder is a makeup brand, I just thought it would be great to include it in this list because the pricing is really good for what you're getting. This is a larger size, but the 40 ml is much more affordable and within the price range of the other designer fragrances. So Infinite Sky is a beautiful, spicy, amber vanilla fragrance. So if you love spices and amber, this perfume is going to be for you. It's that sort of airy, transparent, fresh, spicy amber. You have Szechuan pepper, vanilla, and leatherwood. And to be honest, when you first spray it, the spices are really spicing. <laughs> like they're very, very strong. It almost has a burning, tingling sensation on the nose. That is how powerful they are. Like imagine you're eating a hot chili pepper on its own. Not that I would recommend doing that, but that like, that feeling of like your throat tightening because it's really hot, like you're sweating. That is sort of how spicy this perfume is. But as it develops on the skin and it, after a few, maybe like 20 minutes or so, the fragrance will transform into this beautiful amber resinous vanilla. It's dry, resinous, spicy, and a touch of sweetness. Overall, I find this perfume to be really elegant and sophisticated. So the way that I matched it up with an outfit is with a cashmere turtleneck. This is my favorite one. It's from Reese. I wear it over and over again, probably my most worn piece of garment with a white skirt and then some white heeled boots. 
And then to finish off the look, I added this chocolate leather trench coat and then a black bag. I just feel like it captures the scent perfectly. So if you're ever wondering how this perfume translates into a look, this is exactly what I would envision with this perfume. This next perfume is part of my fall winter rotation for now over three or even four years. I always go back to it during the fall time. It is by the fireplace from Maison Margiela. Whether you love it, whether you hate it, I still think it's worth mentioning because if you're looking for a beautiful, woody, gourmand scent, this is where it's at. And it does not smell like a designer fragrance. It's the best when it comes to a woody gourmand scent. I'm just telling you, it hits everything. The projection, the longevity, the addictive factor, it is stunning and it literally smells like you're toasting marshmallows by the fireplace. Like you're making toasted s'mores marshmallow situation. This is what you'll get with this fragrance. There is a really yummy chestnut accord as well, uh, which gives a nutty feeling. It reminds me of a dessert called Mont Blanc, I believe. It has these like, what is it called? Chestnut vermicelli delicious with a bit of whipped cream. Oh my goodness. So it has that dessert side, strong projection, really good longevity, and it is the ultimate feel good, cozy scent. So of course I paired it with the chunkiest scarf and the chunkiest sweater that I could find to bring in that cozy factor. And then a pair of black pants, black ankle boots, and a little pop of aubergine color with my little bag here to give the ultimate fall winter outfit. So it's no surprise that I am the biggest hater of La Vie est Belle from Lancôme. I have never liked this perfume, even before doing YouTube videos, before any of the hype, I absolutely hate this perfume. But I ended up spending my hard-earned cash, my own money, on the new La Vie Belle L'Extrait. Let that sink in for a moment. I bought the new La Vie Belle L'Extrait. Something is wrong in this world. No, I'm totally kidding. This new perfume is stunning. It is a 10 out of 10 new fragrance release. It's mind-blowing. If you are looking for a beautiful, woody iris scent that smells like a niche fragrance, but with a designer price tag, this is the perfume that you need to check out. Now, mind you, it's a limited edition, sadly, and it only comes in 100 ml, but it was 100 pounds. So you're getting a lot of fragrance and it's still more affordable than a niche perfume. So in my books, that's all right. And it's certainly worth it for the fragrance itself. Now the iris is beautiful. It's an elegant, powdery, delicate iris scent. You can think of it as a compact makeup powder style of iris that is contrasted with a dry, woody, intense scent. It almost feels like wood bark chips being chipped off. Next up, we have Santalum by Chloe. This is part of the Atelier des Fleurs collection, so it's the higher end range from Chloe. More pricey than the standard range, but honestly, the fragrances are beautiful. And so for me, Santalum is perfect for fall and winter. And when I smell this perfume, I immediately see white, the color white, like a snowscape, a white wintry snowscape, which is why the other day I decided to pair this perfume with an all white ensemble. I chose a white long sleeve knit dress with some white boots and then an oversized cream slash white coat. And to add a pop of color and sophistication, because I'll tell you in a minute, this perfume is really elegant. I added this sort of equestrian style printed scarf which ties everything together. Now, let me tell you about this perfume. It is sandalwood revisited. It's exploring a new, fresh facet of sandalwood. So what you get with this perfume is a delicate, ethereal sandalwood scent. It has an airy quality to it. The best way I can describe this perfume is you know the snowflakes, like what snowflakes look like, that delicate structure. That is what I smell 
<laughs> with this perfume. It's like the weirdest thing. That is the image that pops to my mind is the delicate shape of a snowflake. So it's fresh, it's light, it's airy. It's a bit powdery as well. A touch lactonic, but not in a way that is overly creamy, overly sweet. It's really milky, but fresh at the same time. Such an elegant, easygoing fragrance, great for daytime use during the fall and winter season. So if you're a fan of sandalwood and you're looking for a new take on sandalwood, I recommend you check out Santalum by Chloe. We have another Maison Margiela fragrance. It is Jazz Club, and this perfume encapsulates the roaring 20s, the Great Gatsby era. I want you to imagine that you are in a speakeasy and you're sipping on some rum on the rocks whilst watching a jazz performance. This is what this perfume is about. It's boozy, it's sweet, there's some woody, spicy elements as well. It really replicates that atmosphere of being in a speakeasy during the prohibition period. That is kind of the vibe of this scent. Or a gentleman's club, you know, with cigars, dim lights, really exclusive. And the other day, I wanted to wear this perfume during the day, because typically I would recommend reaching out for this in the evenings. It's more of like a fall, winter evening scent, but I really felt the urge to wear it during the day. And so I wanted to pair it with a velvet texture, because I think of velvet and leather when I'm wearing this perfume. So I went for these velvet pants in this deep burgundy, almost plum-like color, and then paired it with something that is more classy and sophisticated at the top with this satin shirt to kind of break up the outfit and bring in a bit of that leathery touch with the shoes. So that is sort of the way that I wore it the other day. I think that it matched the fragrance really well and it also can give you sort of the style of the perfume. So if you're looking for a boozy, sweet fragrance that is great for going out, then I would recommend you try Jazz Club. Vanilla fragrance lovers, if you haven't tried this next perfume, I don't know what you're doing. You need to get your nose on it ASAP. It is Baby Cat from YSL. This perfume is my favorite vanilla scent of all time. It is also the sexiest vanilla perfume that I got my nose on. It's spectacular. It's a spicy, smoky vanilla with a lot of incense, so you do need to like incense somewhat in order to appreciate this fragrance. There's also some pepper. It is deep, warm. Oh, it, it's so good, my goodness. This is so incredibly addictive. I can't even begin to explain. This is the Black Widow of vanilla fragrances. So great longevity, great projection. It's super strong, so I like to wear it more in the evenings if I'm going out for date night. So naturally, I pair this with the sexiest black dress that I have in my wardrobe. This one with a slit, nice little back detail action going on, some gold heels, gold clutch, and we're good to go. I wanna look like a Bond girl when I'm wearing this perfume. That is how it makes me feel. It makes me feel empowered, really sexy and bold. And like, you know, I'm ready for my date. You know, I feel really good in my own skin. That is what Baby Cat for me is about. So if you want a unique take on vanilla, something that is more complex and more elevated, then this is a fragrance that I'd recommend you try. This next fragrance is the best or one of the best new designer releases of the year. I went into store and bought it immediately. It's the new Devotion from Dolce & Gabbana. If you are a gourmand lover fan, so if you love sweet perfumes, you need to get your nose on Devotion. It is a 10 out of 10 new fragrance release that I would recommend to anyone who loves gourmand scents. To me, this perfume is a hybrid of two niche fragrances that I absolutely adore. The first one is Bake from Acro. This is a lemon drizzle, sponge cake type of scent, really delicious, zesty. And then we have Solar Blossom from Mise en Cire, which is a beautiful, fresh, fluffy marshmallow, orange blossom scent. So picture these two fragrances, put them together, and you have a little baby, which is devotion. So this perfume has that 
lemon drizzle sponge cake feeling to it but it's not too sweet, not sickening, and it remains fresh due to the addition of orange blossom. It's a really clean, soft, fresh smelling orange blossom. It's so beautiful. It's a type of perfume that you can wear on an everyday basis during the fall and winter season. Actually, also all year round really, because it's not gonna be too sticky sweet, if you know what I mean. Just, it's done perfectly, seriously. So I would recommend wearing it when you wanna feel extra cozy and warm. So the other day I paired it with a, again, chunky scarf, a chunky cream sweater with a cute little skirt and then uh, some brown boots. Added on top a really cozy trench coat, which is my favorite one from Holland Cooper. Seriously, Holland Cooper has the best coats and tailoring. If you're looking for a great quality coat, I recommend you check out Holland Cooper. This isn't sponsored. Just thought I'd throw it out there because literally this coat, every time I've worn it, I've received compliments. Like people have stopped me in the street asking me where this coat is from. So I thought I would let you know. Anyways, this whole outfit with this perfume is giving cozy autumn fall vibes, which I love. And yeah, I would recommend you check it out if you love gourmand sets. Next up, we have a bit of a different take of your typical fall autumn fragrances. So nothing that is around vanilla or spices or woods. We have more of a playful pop with this next fragrance. It's Givenchy L'Interdit Rouge. Not the new rouge version, although that could be quite nice as well because it has the addition of cacao. This one is a spicy, fruity tuberose. If you already have L'Interdit Rouge in your collection, great. If you don't, then you could check out the new version if you want more of a ch powdered chocolate feeling. So L'Interdit Rouge is a great evening date night fragrance. So I actually wore this the other day on a date with my husband and I paired it with what I'm wearing today, which is a burgundy turtleneck dress. Not typically what I would go for, as in like it's very, you know, tight and form hugging, but it looks great. It's fall, it's sexy. And so, yeah, that's why I wanted to pair it with this perfume. Coincidentally, it actually matches the color as well. Uh, I paired it with some gold heels and then added the leather chocolate trench coat, which I feel like gives a bit more edge uh, to the whole look because this perfume has an edge. So it is, as I said, a spicy tuberose. You have pimiento in there, which is gonna give that fiery kick. And the tuberose is creamy, it's fresh as well, and it has a fruity side that is more prominent in this perfume versus the other fragrances within the same range. To me, I get a fruity, almost grenadine syrup type of vibe from this scent, like a fizzy, fruity, grenadine syrup tuberose scent. So if you like fruits, if you like tuberose, this perfume is probably gonna be right up your alley and it is certainly a great one to check out from the L'Interdit range. And finally, we have an oldie but a goodie. It is Mont Guerlain from Guerlain. I would recommend this if you're looking for a strong, powerful, gourmand scent. So it's very different to Devotion. This one is more on the lighter, fresher side, but if you want a gourmand that packs a huge punch, then I recommend you go for Mont Guerlain. It has notes of vanilla, lavender, and jasmine. The lavender gives a powdery, aromatic effect, which is a nice little surprise versus other floral, sweet vanilla type of perfumes. And the vanilla is just yummy. It's a syrupy vanilla, I would say. If you enjoy fragrances such as La Vie est Belle from Lancôme or Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, I feel like you would enjoy Mont Guerlain from Guerlain. Now, this screams to me rich mom energy. So the way that I picture wearing this perfume with an outfit is with a long-sleeved turtleneck dress with knee-high cream boots and this oversized, really elegant coat that screams Angelina Jolie in the tourist movie. That's sort of how I envision this perfume. I hope you get more of an understanding as to the vibe of this scent through this outfit because for me, this is exactly that. 
In terms of longevity and projection, it is fantastic. This projects like a beast, so you don't need to apply too much. And the longevity is fantastic. I get around 10 hours wear, which is really good. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more of these outfit to perfume pairing videos. The feedback so far has been really positive and I enjoy making them. So let me know if you'd like more of these, if you want a different format as well, as in like a different format between perfume and outfits that would make it even easier for you to understand the fragrances. Any feedback is welcome, as long as it's constructive, that is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.